Apple just released a new update to macOS Sonoma 14.1.2 and in this video let's talk what is the best way to install this update on unsupported Macs. So whenever you're running a Mac with unsupported macOS you use the open core legacy patcher obviously because this enables the macOS on the unsupported Mac. Here is a detailed tutorial how to install a macOS on unsupported Mac with the open core legacy patcher but today let's talk about the update 14.1.2 that was just released a few days ago. I tested this update on all of my old unsupported Macs and it wasn't as flawless as I thought it would be and that was with my MacBook Air 2013 but one after another. So in this video I'd like to talk about the different methods how you can upgrade your Mac to the new version. First of all you could just click in the system settings update macOS as with an official supported Mac. This works and I tried this on my Mac Pro 2013 and the same on my Mac Pro 2012 and that worked flawlessly. But here in my other videos I already talked about some requirements that the Open Core has and that is a KDK, a kernel de debug kit. And the kernel debug kit is a software piece from Apple that just had some resources that the Open Core Legacy Patcher needs to prepare your macOS. I don't want to get into so much detail, but you need the corresponding KDK for your macOS version. You always need that, otherwise, your Mac might not boot anymore when you do the update. So if you have macOS 14.1 you need the KDK installed 14.1 and that is the problem with updating okay for instance here on my Macs there was macOS 14.1.1 installed everything was fine if you now do an update via the system registry you just go to the system settings say update it would update to 14.1.2 but the KDK is still an old one. So here Open Core Legacy Patcher comes into place and it detects more or less automatically if you are updating your Mac. If you start the update to a new macOS version and it automatically starts downloading the KDK corresponding to that new update that you're installing. If your Open Core Legacy Patcher detects that update and downloads the KDK automatically, the update should be fine. First of all, you don't need a different Open Core Legacy Patcher. The latest version 1.2.1 is still fine for macOS Sonoma 14.1.2. The next thing that I tried was with my Mac Pro 2012, the cheese grater, because in the Open Core Legacy Patcher you can also in the lower left corner say you wanted to download the updater, the macOS 14.1.2, because when you do the update on an unsupported Mac, it cannot do an incremental update. So basically when you have a supported Mac, it just downloads the files required from 14.1.1 to 14.1.2 that's maybe a gigabyte or one and a half gigabytes with unsupported Macs this feature is broken so it always downloads the full installer 12 13 14 gigabytes so you can just go to the open core legacy patch and say download installer and you download the version 14.1.2 and then you have it in your applications folder or in your downloads folder and you just start it manually you start this installer same here as soon as this starts to update your macOS the open core legacy patcher should detect the update and download the KDK 14.1.2 automatically and the update goes smooth 
everything is fine and the third thing that you can do is that you can download the corresponding KDK and that is important for instance if your Mac is not connected to the internet because you, you use it as a standalone Mac whatever you can just use another Mac download the KDK and I give you all the links down in the video description and by the way when you're in the video description don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell for notifications if there are any updates so you don't miss a video and so you download the KDK up front it's just a regular DMG file you just make a double click install it it has its own installer and you install the new KDK 14.1.2 to your Mac that you want to update before you update when you've done that you can either go to the system settings and do the update you can start the downloaded macOS installer whatever if the KDK is already installed that should be fine but I know that in all my tutorials I recommend using a USB drive and in my tutorial it's explained how to do that you can plug this into your Mac and I did that with my MacBook Air 2013 and then you start from the USB drive and you select install macOS Sonoma and if there is a macOS installed already it just updates it so there's no data lost and then my MacBook was stuck with one third of a progress bar so why is that because when you do the update the root patches and maybe I have to very quickly explain what root patches are you have two parts of the open core legacy patch one part is a bootloader that just enables macOS that it thinks it's a supported Mac and that you can install macOS but as the hardware is not officially supported there are some drivers missing that Apple just got rid of maybe a few versions before so the root patch now patches your macOS and inserts the old drivers so that macOS can use your hardware as it should and that everything is detected and runs and works and so when you are using a USB drive the root patches are automatically applied so you install um, macOS and the drivers are already there everything should work fine if you do the update from the USB drive and you have a macOS installed and I had 14.1.1 installed and did the update via USB drive then it also applies automatically the root patches and you name it but with the old KDK and so my progress bar was stuck at one-third and here in my video that was exactly the case uh, with a different setup and same here um, the solution was to boot into safe mode quite easy when you're in the bootloader of the open core just keep shift pressed and select macOS hard drive maybe Macintosh HD or whatever is named and then it should continue installing and so this booted up into macOS 14.1.2 and then if you just have a look at the root patches it says all root patches are applied so don't panic if your update gets stuck first of all and I tried this before also try NV RAM reset that helps in a lot of issues just keep command alt or option key R and P pressed during boot and then a lot of problems should be gone if that doesn't help keep shift press to boot into safe mode and then it should continue otherwise I tested the new update with the open core legacy patcher 1.2.1 on all of my Macs no difference uh, to 14.1 or 14.1.1 as expected it's just like a minor security update uh, whatever worked on the old version just works now as well and whatever didn't work 
on the older versions there's no change as the open core legacy patcher didn't change no drivers change so no change at all it's quite safe to update and just here in that potpourri of old unsupported Macs the MacBook Air 2013 I don't have anything that doesn't work on the MacBook Pro 2012 same situation these 10 or 11 year old hardware MacBooks work nearly flawlessly you can just use them as an everyday driver this one has 8 gigabytes of RAM because I could update it this one you cannot update so 4 gigabyte it gets kind of slow sometimes because it's only 4 gigabytes of RAM the Mac Pros 2013 and 2012 work fine uh, this one doesn't have any graphic acceleration with that very old graphic cards you cannot swap the old cheese grater has an RX 580 so that graphic card works flawlessly and so I can just remind you if you haven't yet just join our discord server we have nearly 600 users there are quite a lot of discussions going on quite a lot of users help each other and I really want to thank you for that all you users that take part in the discussion help each other it's quite a very great community on the discord server so if you have a question either give me a comment below the video and I try to answer if possible or just ask your questions and please remember there are channels uh, on the left uh, for MacBook for Mac Pro or for iMac um, just go to the appropriate channel and ask a question there or just maybe scroll a little bit uh, to the older posts maybe your uh, question is already solved thank you so much for watching see you soon hopefully for the updates about macOS 14.2 and the new Open Core Legacy Patcher 1.3 that should be released when the new macOS version is released. Until then, have fun here on my channel. See you soon. Bye bye.